Hey guys, so we'll see here over Books and Cats and today I shall be doing a TBR shelf tour. <laughs> So, I shall be showing you that today. I have a mere 69 books on my TBR. Now, that is really good for me. I can't remember the last time I had such a low number. I just recently reorganized it, and I'm gonna tell you the organization, why I did it that way, and I might pull out a few books, books that I'm excited about, but I'm not gonna pull out every single book. Like, you can see it. Like, it'll be a close enough shot where you'll be able to see it. So, let's just get into it. So, welcome to the top shelf of my TBR shelf. Um, TBR bookcase, whatever. Anyway, I have a couple of stuff. I have an Aladdin mug right there. Um, in it is some star, um, like, twinkly lights that fell off my bookcase because I tried taping them. And I haven't put them back up. I could have put them back up before this video, but that would be too easy. Right next to that I have a notebook, just because it's there. I have some folders there, not really aesthetically pleased. Should I move those? Should probably move those. There we go. That looks better. <laughs> Here we go. All right, that looks much better. This top shelf is just all of my really big hardcovers and my Lemony Snicket books. Um, there's really no rhyme or reason to why they're up here. This is a tin where I keep all of my bookish, um, like post-it notes and stuff so I can mark quotes, pages, and all that stuff. This is a weird pencil case that looks like a recycling can. Don't ask me why I have it. A little whale. That's my mom's that we've had probably for forever. And this is my wonderful bookmark collection. I have a lot of them. And you know what's sad? That's not even all of them. I'm not really super, super pumped for any of these books on this shelf. I am really excited to finally get to any of Frederick Bachman's work. Britt Marie was here. I'm really excited to get to. I have heard that this is a character that is in a man called Uwe. So I'm going to read that first. I'm going to read like all of his work in publication order just because I can. I'm finally excited to get to Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. I have finally caught up with all of her books. I'm now all caught up. Um, this is the last one that I have to read and I was waiting till I finished the um, Grisha trilogy and the Crooked Kingdom duology. Not Crooked Kingdom duology. The Six of Crows duology. So I'm really excited to get to that. And these are the rest of the Lemony Snicket books that I have left to read. This is a book that I'm borrowing from a friend that I've been borrowing from her for months now and I should probably read it and get it back to her. So yeah, but that's the top shelf. Hope you enjoyed it. Yay. This is technically the first shelf of my bookcase. I'm honestly really stoked to get to all of these books. Um, some in particular, I'm really excited to get to Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ding. Frederick Bachman, obviously. I'm hoping to finish the Graceling trilogy by Kristen Kishore this year, My Brilliant Friend. These are all like my trade paperbacks that I have trade paperbacks to larger trade paperbacks I guess and they're done by size and then um alphabetically by author just because that was that's what looks good I have a little Sleeping Beauty mug right here that one of my cousins gave to me she gave me like a whole set so you're gonna see um a couple of these on the bookcase but I really love them and most of my other bookish items that I had displayed on my shelves before are in storage. So these are cute and help keep everything in line. I have a couple of graphic novels and then I have this which I'm really excited to read again is Romeo and or Juliet A Choosable Path Adventure by Ryan North. That's kind of the order that it's in. I like how it looks. And this is the last shelf that I'm going to be showing you. The bottom shelf down here is all books that I've read and I'm not going to go into that because I'm eventually if I ever get my other books out of storage, gonna do like a bookshelf tour. Um, again, obviously, as you can see how I'm doing this one, I'm not one of those people who's gonna pull out every book. I just, I don't like watching them, so I'm just gonna show you what I have. The way I have this shelf organized is mass market, hardcovers, um, like regular size hardcovers, and then smaller hardcovers, and then mass markets again. As you can see, 
this side minus the giver here on the bottom and all of those books over there um like all of those elizabeth peter books are all part of the same series it's a really long series it's gonna take me the rest of my life to finish it but i've collected them over the years top of those elizabeth peter books up there i have a couple of the nancy drew and hardy boys super mysteries they're old they're like from the 80s and 90s really love them excited to get to more of them soon and i just have like my regular hardcovers this is the least amount of hardcovers like regular size hardcovers i've had in years I'm not even joking before I used to have two whole shelves of these and now I just have like these which is crazy I'm really honestly excited to get to all of these hoping to get to my baby my love my my child soon I would like to eventually finish the Lunar Chronicle series but I'm scared to finish it so yeah I have my Ed Baker books that I have to catch up on this one I'm really excited for because it actually is another book released in the um the Frog Princess series and I'm super stoked to get to it I might have to reread the series before I get to that but we'll see and then I have the few Nancy Drew books that I own here. Wow, that's out of order. Alyssa, what the frick are you doing with your life? Okay, sorry about that. And then we have more of the Elizabeth Peter books over here, and then we have The Giver by Lois Lauer on the bottom, a book I am so torn about whether or not I want to read. <laughs> I keep going back and forth about whether or not I want to read it. That's the last shelf. That's all I got. So yeah. So that's it for my TBR shelf. Again, it wasn't a super in-depth tour i'm just not into those so therefore i'm not gonna make it just wanted to kind of show you what i have on my shelves what i'm excited about and will be focusing the rest of my year on because my big goal for this year is to just read things off my tbr shelf if you see any books on my shelf that you think i absolutely need to put on the priority list please let me know down below i would love to know i love getting suggestions for that kind of stuff i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i shall see you in the next one Hi.